We're at the heavily fortified airport heading into the town of Kismayo, which, although it's controlled by African troops, is still effectively besieged. It's still a very tense situation, hence all of this uh, safety gear and the fact we have to travel in armoured cars. Wherever I've travelled here in Kismayo, it's been under conditions of extremely heavy security. As you can see, I'm in an armoured personnel carrier with African Union troops right now. And the reason for that is simple. Uh, the security situation is still extremely volatile. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, there was an attack on the political leadership here. At least 20 people were killed. Roadside bombs are not unusual, and neither are other attacks. But you do see, as you drive around town, nevertheless, that business is beginning to pick up. There is the beginnings, at least in the centre of the town, where there is some security of a beginning of a normal life. Somalia has come to this state of affairs because the tribes here, or clans as they're known in Somalia, have been fighting each other for years. The Islamists saw this confusion and moved in to exploit it. These enormous stocks of charcoal are one of the reasons why it was so important for the African Union peacekeepers to take the port city of Kismayo. Al-Shabaab, the jihadist rebels, were making tens of millions of dollars every year out of the illegal export of charcoal to the Gulf and beyond.